Hey guys, Toast TV here, and I've got this super awesome trick that I just learned for Final Fantasy XIV, and it is an absolute game changer when it comes to HUD management, layout, and swapping between classes, as well as any other uh, macros or icons or skills that you might like to use. As you can see, I have a little menu here. This will show a list, and on this list, I have a, a button that will toggle all my current journal entries, uh, my DPS classes. I can swap classes with the click of a button. I've also got here the tank icons. can change between different tank classes there as well. I've also got set up my gathering and professions so that I can change whenever I need to and toggle them off when I'm done. Also down here I have emotes, it's currently blank because I'll show you how you can set them in and make them work. Let's get to it shall we? First thing you need to have for this is at least two classes that are above level 30 and have unlocked their first job stone so that means that you will now have effectively a class that you don't really use being the base version of the class the ones that i'm using for this particular setup at the moment is the marauder class in place of the warrior and the conjurer class in place of the white mate because i don't use conjurer or marauder anymore what that means is that i can use the hot bars from those particular classes to save a set of skills or gear set lists that I can have equipped down here for a class that I don't use, okay? You can do this technically with any class that you don't use. However, I would suggest using it uh, on redundant classes only, okay? That way, if you decide you wanna level other classes, you don't leave yourself hanging high and dry or messing up your skill sets. First of all, what we're gonna do to get this particular thing set up, it's a list of hotbars from uh, hotbars 10 through to five. Now that leaves hotbars one to four for your classes. Hotbars 10 through five will be usable for our sub menu here with my DPS tank uh, professions. I'm gonna set up a bar for healer and show you how that you can do this for yourself as well, with the steps that I'll be taking. So we need to make sure that hotbars nine and 10 are shared so that they will appear on every class. Um, so that when we change classes, we still have our side menus. Okay, we're going to do that by going into character configuration, hotbar settings, sharing, and making sure that only 9 and 10 are ticked. What that means is that they are shared amongst all your classes. Under the display settings, you'll find that hide underside slots will be unticked by default and hotbar numbers will be ticked by default. So to have a nice clean look, we can just tick these boxes and hide it. Okay, boom, boom. close that when you're done. Now, we need to ensure that our hotbars are positioned in such a way that they will line up and look pretty. So I'm gonna go over here to HUD layout three so that I don't mess with my original HUD layout. I'm gonna drag hotbar 10 is our main hotbar menu. I'm gonna pop this over on the side here. I'm gonna save that bad boy there, okay? Right click to make it visible so that when we put our macros in, we'll be able to see that particular hotbar. The next hotbar we wanna bring along is hotbar nine. We're going to put hotbar 9 about one skill icon down from hotbar 10. Okay, there's a little bit of overlap for the top of the hotbar. That's fine, don't worry about that at all. So we have 10, we have 9, we'll just put down a little bit more because you can see that this icon is kicked in there. Hotbar 8 is going to be for our first menu. In this case, in my case, hotbar 8 is for DPS. Then we're going to drag hotbar 6, hotbar 7 will be for tanking. Hotbar six, in my case, is going to be for my professions. And the hotbar five here is going to be for emotes, which I have down the bottom there, okay? Now hotbar four, three, two, and one are reserved for your classes so that you have hotbars to use your skills with. Cheeky thing that we can do here is we're gonna have hotbar seven set up to display skill the healer now that they're in position we'll be able to drag our macros across now we need to set up the macros we're going to use the macros here's where i have all my macros now a macro is a set of commands that tells the game what to do in this particular case here we have uh show now this is going on hotbar 10 this is this macro here so this macro we put that boom hotbar 10 Hotbar display 9 on, hotbar display 10 off. Clicking this will display hotbar 9 
and hide hotbar 10. Right, we have the opposite one here, hide. This particular macro will hide hotbar 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and we'll put hotbar 10 on. So that means if I have my DPS bar open and I hide it, all of it goes away. If I didn't have display 8 off, my DPS bar would remain open when I hit the hide button. Now, we need to make sure that we have macros set up for DPS, the tank, the professions. We have here our duty list and our hide button. So with the duty list, we're going to go HUD slash duty list on off and HUD scenario guide on off. The scenario guide is this uh, MSQ progress button up here. And the duty list is your list of duties from your journal requests that you need to do. Okay, first macro here. And this is our DPS macro. Pop a name on it, click on the icon, set one, bang. And the command we're going to use is hotbar copy a Marauder 1 to current 8. So what that is, is copies the hotbar from Marauder class hotbar 1 to the current hotbar of 8. And then it toggles display 8 on off. What that means is when we click this button, it copies the hotbar from the Marauder class to the hotbar for 8 in our current class. Okay. Now. We need to set one up for the tank class. The Marauder 2, current 7, hot bar display 7 on off. So our tank classes are currently set to use hot bar 7. Okay, our professions are set to use hot bar 6 and the third bar of Marauder. Emotes I currently have set up through Conjurer up and they're gonna go from Conjurer 1 to current number 5. Now this particular one here is gonna have a few different pages and that's what these are here. So these particular buttons are used to cycle back and forth between the emotes and I'll show you when we drop the emotes in there, okay? Let's have ourselves a macro for healer. And I'm gonna line it up in such a way that when we press the button for tank, all right, I'll just adjust this here real quick. Hop our eight there for DPS. Hot bar seven, we're gonna have it set so that our tank classes will start on the next one down. I'm gonna to change to Marauder. Don't judge my terrible bag management. So now that I'm the Marauder class, you'll see here that my hot bars are currently set to different set lists. Okay. It may help to have the hot bar numbers on so you know which one you're playing with at the time. So in my case, I need to go to hot bar two. I'm gonna pull everything across. I'm going to take white mage off, pull blue mage across, paladin, dark knight, thing. So that when we pull up tank, it lands and starts up there. But we're going to have for ourselves a healer macro. We're going to set that on bar four, which is going to be this one. So what I need is my healer class. I've only got white mage at the moment. Pop that on one. Beautiful. And that's number four there. Go to our user macro. We're going to create ourselves a healer macro using this icon here. Click on it, healer, bang. Now, this is where we're going to be a bit tricky. See, we're going to copy, right, the healer classes to the tank macro bar. So we're going to use the same one we have here from our tank one, but we're going to put Marauder bar four onto current hot bar seven instead. Okay, and now we have ourselves a healer one. We click on healer, it brings up the healer icon. Click on tank, brings up tank, right? Healer, tank. Swapping between the two might seem a bit glitchy, and that's simply because the command to hide it and copy it across, okay? There's no if command that I'm aware of as yet where it's if active, then don't hide kind of thing. But that's fine. So now we have healer and we have tank, and they are lined up almost virtually the same. And that is how you set that up. So now we have a DPS bar, a healer bar, a tank bar, because our healer is set to bar four. This macro here copies bar four to the hot bar that is set up here. Bar hot bar seven. This one is my Marauder bar one, which copies to hot bar eight. My Marauder bar two is the tank hot macro, which will copy to bar seven. Number three is my professions, which copies to bar six, and they go all the way down there. I could probably do with moving that main menu as well. Now let's have a quick look at our emotes. So there's nothing on the emote list currently, which means these buttons don't do anything. There's no visible change. 
we're going to set up our emotes. So we need to go to the conjurer class, hit crystal off, boom, now we're conjurer. I have here as a conjurer, all my slots, and I'm gonna put some emotes down. Just drag a few across currently. Bow, I use bow a lot, cool. And then we're gonna to go to hotbar two. I'm gonna chuck some more on. We're gonna to go to hotbar three, and I'm gonna set up, say, dances. Suck the charm, just give me an in. Cause we like these ones. <laughs> Be careful dragging your commands and stuff around as you may accidentally trigger them, like so. Okay, get out of that. Now that we have our emotes set up on the Conjuro class, we're gonna confirm our macros to make sure that our macros are set up. These, here's our emotes. So what that is, we've set the icon to the cheer emote. Okay, hot bar, copy one, Conjuro is gonna copy the bar of, bar one of Conjuro to hotbar five. Now hotbar five, which we'll have toggle on and off, is connected down here to emotes and there they are. Okay, now the plus and the minus buttons are what we use to change pages. If these are set up correctly, you will see that you can change your pages. Okay, and it'll always start on page one. Page one will be these ones, page two, page three. The plus one here is to copy bar one to the current five. We also need one to copy bar two to current five, bar three, and then we use the same ones again, just with the little minus icon, which you can get from page three of the icon. It's important where we set these ones up. So on the first page, we actually don't want this to be linked to Conjurer one. We want this to be Conjurer hot bar two. So we go to our macro here for Conjurer hot bar two, we're gonna drag and drop and pop it here. And this will let us change to page two from page one. But we also want to be able to go back to page three. So we need our macro here to open Conjurer page three to the bar. We're gonna put that in our first bar for Conjurer. For the next bar, we're going to copy the macro to change to bar three. And we're gonna drop it here, bar three here. And then to go back to bar one, we're gonna put that here. And then on number three, page three, we actually want to go back to bar one from number three. And then this one, we want to send us back to bar two. Do another page, it's as simple as going, all right, here's this one here. I'm going to copy this macro, slap it here. We're going to use bar for what you'll find is that the plus and the minus ones are exactly the same, exact same macro. So we can just copy paste this, plus and minus, beautiful. So this will take us back to four, and this will take us forward to four. So from bar three, just here, this one currently takes us back to one. We're gonna use this to put bar four, okay? So this will take us to bar four. Now on bar four, we need a minus button to take us back to bar three, which we're gonna put here. That will take us back. With our plus button, we want it to come full circle. We're gonna put bar one on here. So now when we get to the end, two, three, four. There we go. We have four pages. We can have up to 10 emotes per page. You can also, uh, if you prefer, you can have them on the side so that they are, you can position them strategically so that they're lined up. You can have them lined up on the side by putting your minus one in bar six. Like swap them around. You can neaten it all up. So now we can cycle through our pages. That takes us back to page three. So from page one, we can go back to page four. We can cycle through backwards. We can cycle through forwards. And we have ourselves our emotes hooked up on the side. Make sure to lock it so you don't accidentally drag them out of place. I do that all the time and it's not ideal at all. Then we have our healer and we have our tank and professions and then DPS. And then this one here hides our duty list so that it's clear and we don't have to worry about whatever quests we've been putting off for the last three years. Okay, and there you go. There you have the different emotes set on different pages on a side menu that you can hide for ease of access and ease of use. So once all has gone well, you should have an end result that looks somewhat like this, nice and neat and tidy. I've got my DPS classes, got my healer classes, got my tank classes, professions, uh, emotes, which we just went through when we added some pages. And then I have teleport return and ether compass there for ease of access if you enjoyed the tutorial like and subscribe you can follow me on twitch for more final fantasy content and we're going to wrap it up there so you guys have a great rest of your day stay home be kind and make toast